What's up everybody, it's the guy for 20 help back out again with another video. Well today we're going to be talking about fan bases, more specifically among the people who are fans of YouTubers, and the kind of stuff that influences them, stuff like that. Today there was a video that came out with Sneeko and a fan, um, uh, a kid coming up to him, and I'm going to... I'm going to play the video, and then I'm going to discuss what my opinions are after it. Okay, so let's play the video. It's only 37 seconds long. Fuck the woman! Fuck the woman! What? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. We love women. We love women. We love women. We love women. Not my chances. Yes, sir. We love everybody. No, no. Okay, goodbye. You could see the cringe coming from this. Okay, so there's nothing really more to show on this video. But I'm going to talk about it. So the, the kind of, like, I don't necessarily have beef with Sneeko. I could disagree with a lot of stuff Sneeko has said, just more specifically the Cuties movie, um, how he gave that a good review. Uh, no, that video is straight up CP. Um, and there's other stuff that Sneeko has said that is incorrect. There's stuff that, you know, I'm a fan of Andrew Tate. I like a lot of stuff that Andrew Tate says. But there is some stuff that Andrew Tate says that isn't good either. Sneeko needs to understand that his audience is a lot longer. You know what I mean? And these kids are reportedly 12 years old. Growing up, if these kids have that attitude about women, that's not going to do well for them at all. I mean, like, it, it's kind of like incel kind of culture in a way. You know, it's, it's not really something you want to be promoting to kids, especially. You know, you, you could say that these, you could talk shit about these OnlyFans girls and stuff like that, but the way these kids are looking at it is that they're looking at it like it's all women. They're not figuring out that they're talking about OnlyFans girls and stuff like that, which I can't agree with the points about that. But not all women are like that. Same with not all men are like a certain thing that's kind of sexist in a way if you would break it down. You know, I you know Sneeko wants to do more IRL and get out of the red pill community, which I think is good. I personally think whether if you're too right wing or too left wing, that makes you like an awful human being, to be honest. I don't really care about people's political points of view. You know, I have my own political views and other people and I can I, I, I'm not the kind of guy that argues people, oh you're a Republican and I hate you or whatever. I, I bet you a lot of my fan base is Republican. You know, I tend to be more on the left, but that, that's besides the point. I could have fucking dark, fucked up humor. I could fucking, I love guns. You know, there's a lot of stuff that Republicans do that I like. But this isn't really about politics. This has to do with straight up Sneeko needs to understand that his audience is younger. And if you're promoting like misogyny kind of stuff towards women, they're going to think the same thing. And then they're going to come after you and be like, oh, fuck the women and shit like that. I don't think that that's a good thing to promote the kids. And, you know, I used to have some dog humor and stuff like that. I still do. I just, I, I'm 27 years old now. I'm kind of a little bit more mature for this kind of stuff. So I see this kind of stuff online. It makes me cringe. It makes me feel bad for these kids because they're going to grow up to have that kind of mindset. And that's not going to do well in the dating game. You know, girls, they don't like being treated like holes. Nah, and, you know, I don't believe that all those all, but some of them are. Sneeko has a lot of good points, but some of them are not good at all. And then these kids are listening to that, and they're going to go up and be like, yo, all women are sluts, they're all a bunch of hoes, they are of AIDS, you know what I mean? They're not going to be able to get goals doing this kind of stuff. Or if they do, they're going to treat them really poorly. Sneeko... Has a chance to tone stuff around. I believe of his IOL streaming, he can do really well. He just needs to promote the right message and stuff, other than the wrong message. I know Sneeko probably deep down doesn't think that all women are whores. You know, I, I can't believe that someone would truly think that. So you know, I just want you know people to understand that if your audience is longo on the longo side. You should put more, more of a positive message. I know my audience from looking at my analytics, or at least all adults, I think uh, it goes to eight, uh, like 20% of my audience is like 18 to like 25, and the rest is like uh, 25 to like 30 something years old. 
So, you know, my audience is typically older. That's what I promote to. I promote to older people, but Sneeko has a longer audience. And when I hear him talking about goals and saying they're all a bunch of sluts and stuff like that, this video is definitely going to, I hope it's part, it might get age destructive because of the subject matter I'm talking about. But I just wish that if you know your audience is like, oh, promote a positive message. So you don't grow up with kids coming up to you in public being like, fuck the women and stuff. Anyway, it's just cringy. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Do you think that sneakers should, prom should promote more of a positive message other than the general with sexist stuff? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm always interested in hearing other people's points of view. And, you know, you can always leave comments on my videos. And even if you disagree with what I say, you know, it'll be like, hey, I disagree and this is the reason why. If you say a comment like that, I'll have no problem reading it and taking your point of perspective in the view. Um, anyways, this is Guy420. Um, take it easy, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace.